Hey, this is Stacy from Let's Cook, y'all. This is my very first attempt at trying a meal in my new Instant Pot. Uh, hopefully it will come out. I'm gonna try something really simple. I have done the pressure test. I have done uh, one cup of rice and I have done steamed some pre-made frozen pot stickers. All of those have worked. So for supper tonight, we are trying an easy recipe that I found off a Instant Pot group on Facebook, which has a lot of recipes. We're gonna try this easy adaptation of Pioneer Woman's chicken and noodles. So what I need are chicken, butter, cream of chicken, broth. I'm gonna add a few seasonings, and then at the end, after the, thank you, Tim, after the chicken cooks, we will add these, I don't, is it reams, reams, reams? Frozen egg noodles. So let's see if I can figure out how to set this thing. All right, first thing is the recipe says to do is to put the chicken breasts in. Mine are thawed out instead of frozen. You can cook in this thing apparently from frozen. I'm only going two chicken breasts since it's the two of us. The recipe does not call for it, but I have read that some, because of the nature of pressure cooking. What is that? This is chicken breasts and I'm adding some seasonings. This is Mrs. Dash garlic and herb, Mrs. Dash chicken, you beat it on the counter to those? I store my herbs where you're not supposed to store them near the heat, and so they tend to clump up. A little bit of onion. I'm not doing garlic because that on. had it. And a little bit of pepper. And fresh, fresh pepper. And a pinch of salt. Just a pinch of salt. Because I'm using Mrs. Dash, which is low salt. It doesn't call sea for it. Sea salt? No. Kosher salt is on Kosher top. Kosher salt, okay. Uh, so the recipe says to, in the Instant Pot, put the chicken on the bottom, okay. frozen or, for frozen it says to do it for 25 minutes, 15 if your chicken is thawed out, and then pour oh, in. to me. Yeah, it is. Pour in two cans of cream of mushroom soup. Okay. Hang on, I gotta get a spoon. I had one can, and then I one actually can. have one Tetra Pack which is a little less. No, actually it's a little more. What is a Tetra Pack? A Tetra Pack is one of these uh, environmentally friendly, instead of a metal can, it's one of these environmentally friendly. Two 15 ounce cans of chicken broth. I've got a 32 ounce container, okay. so I'm gonna put almost all of this in of the chicken broth. And then it actually calls for a stick of butter but I'm gonna use uh, a half a stick. Try to be a little heart healthier. I think I read. You measured it. Well, it's a half a stick. I okay. cut it in half. Okay. I, pr I read through some of the comments, and I think a couple of ladies said that they did a half a stick. I'm gonna put the lid on, which I'm learning to do. You kind of line this it up. Be a you kind of line it up here, and then twist it. Oh, you made it look easy. And then you. This is the hard part. It's venting, which means it's open and. Then you have to, when you turn it on, you have to go all the way back to sealing. Okay. After I do it, I'm going to do everything with either a mitt or a wooden spoon so okay. I don't burn myself. Good okay, idea. it says to put it on poultry setting. I have no idea if we have poultry. Like we're going to use manual, Porridge, which is pressure cook. Okay. So we're going to hit pressure or manual. They're called different things. And since mine was thawed out, I'm going to go to 15. We'll show you what it looks like as it's cooking. It hasn't gotten up to pressure yet. Very excited about this. Uh-oh, beep, beep, beep. It might, does make a lot of noise. Okay. It's still not up to where it's counting down. Hopefully I didn't do anything wrong, but it has started putting steam out. So I would suggest if you have an instant pot and you have anywhere, pull it as far away from underneath countertops and stuff. Luckily, I'm very blessed to have a bar, so we're able to put it out on the bar because I think these things can put out a lot of steam <coughs> and or spew hot liquids when you release the pressure. So that's one tip. It just switched over. Once it gets to pressure, it goes to the time you set and it'll start counting down. Okay, it just beeped, which means it finished the 15 minute cycle. The recipe said to let it do natural release, which means I'm just gonna leave it alone. It has like a keep warm setting. Can't really see that, keep warm. And I'm gonna think I'm gonna let it go for about 10 minutes and then take the chicken out and shred it up. The little valve on the back is still in the sealed. I could 
pull it towards the venting, that's apparently called a quick release. But the main thing is this pin, when this pin is up, it still has pressure and you can't open it. So you can't open it until the pin is dropped. I still have a whole lot to learn. Okay, we're very excited. <laughs> It's, it's said to let natural release, but I'm being a little impatient. So after about 10 minutes, 11 now that we've gotten the camera out, I'm gonna take the spoon and try to start venting it. You gonna it. put the thing over the top of it? The rag? No. Nope. It's throwing stuff up in there. Rag, rag. Okay, we got the rag over it. And then it's just gonna release it. Still up, and we can't open it until the pin goes down. Smells really all good. Does smell good. <laughs> Cream of chicken, it's hard to beat cream of mm. chicken. <laughs> There's a lot of steam built up. This is why I don't want to use it up under a overhanging cabinet. I'm very glad we have this island out here. Well, it takes a long time to release this steam. Now it's doing. Steamy. Very steamy. But it's not blowing, which is what worries me with a pressure cooker. It, that got wet. Ooh, it's spewing everywhere. Back over. It's spewing. The rag is wet. Okay. Ah, don't burn yourself. Don't burn yourself. Not fun. It's not fun. Okay. Watching it as the steam releases, hoping that the little pin mm -hmm. right there. Drops down. Down. When it drops down, we, we can, can open it. We have to take the chicken out and shred it and then add the noodles. It's already been 14 minutes. So it's not quite as fast as you would think because it has to come up to pressure and then it has to release the pressure. Okay. We pushed the pin down. <laughs> it was and up. It was done. So steam, we... steam seems to be over. So now we're going to try to take the chicken out and shred it. Let's hope it doesn't. You got a high score. Oh. Let's hope hmm, it doesn't. First look. All right, take the chicken out and shred it, and then we're gonna put it back in and add the noodles for five more minutes. Okay, Stacy has pulled the chicken out, the raw. I thought it was gonna be hard to shred the chicken, but it's so tender it just falls apart. All right, the chicken goes back in to the hot broth. Put the noodles in, frozen egg noodles. Hello. This is a 24 ounce bag of this ring spray. Oh, you have to line this up and then twist. Uh oh. Line this up and twist. And then we're going to hit cancel, soup, and go down to five. five. And then it will be ready. Do you have to hit start? No, there's no start button. Apparently, when you let go, it just starts. I think it took about five or ten minutes to come back to pressure, so that's something I'm going to have to learn is how long it takes to get to pressure for different things and then which items need the quick release versus which items need the natural release. But in five minutes, we should be closer to eating. I should have timed this from start to finish. All right, it just beeped after five minutes, so this time it said to do a quick release and to cover it with a towel because it's supposed to spew a lot of the hot liquid. All right, so the pin popped down. We're gonna see what it looks like. You wanna do the honors? I will. It's soupier. It may be chicken noodle soup rather than chicken and noodles. Let's see. Let's go oh, it smells great. It smells like soap. Otherwise, we have a rule in our house. When I try a new recipe and it doesn't come out, we call it the Sonic rule. If we try a new recipe and it doesn't come out, we go into Sonic and get food. Well, noodles, that looks really the noodles good. Looked cooked. It looks like chicken noodle soup more than chicken with noodles. That's all the same thing, right? Mm, to me, chicken with noodles is creamier. I may have put too much broth in it next time I put a little less broth rather than most oh, of that Oh, it would be good. All right. So that is our first Instant Pot recipe, chicken with noodles. It was pretty easy. Uh, once you get over the fear, which I still have a little of, of the pressure and learn how to use it, I think it's worth doing. Tear five. Tear five. Or five. <laughs> All right. So thanks for so much for stopping by our channel. More five. Do you want to keep doing vocabulary words or you want to tell them thanks for stopping by. Let's cook y'all and have a blessed day.
I'll let you do that. Okay. Thanks for stopping by. Have a blessed day, y'all. Bye.